yes, my fellow Americans, are you ready? Are you ready to get smacked really hard in the ass? Yep, our electricity bills are going to skyrocket. Woo, that's just what everybody wants. Oh, great for business. Oh, we're trying to get inflation under control. Right. Sure. Sure. Okay. We got a new uh, 681 page EPA proposed rule that uh, basically is going to uh, wreck fossil fuel power plants. Uh huh. Uh, it's going to require most existing gas and coal fired power plants to cut their carbon dioxide emissions by 90% or more over the next 10 to 15 years. Uh, up to 96% for the largest and most heavily used plants. Newly constructed gas plants, as soon as they start up, would immediately have to meet standards based on the most efficient and most expensive generating equipment, reaching the same 90% or higher reduction over time. Okay. Um, and again, this, this EPA rule, we don't even know if it's legal. Um, it is, uh, it, it, it's, it's legally dubious. Um, again, uh, it's the Biden administration wants to shift how markets allocate capital uh, among types of energy before a potential change in Washington, D.C., with little to regard to what it's going to do to the overall economy. It's the reality of the situation. Um, Wall Street Journal today. Section 111 of the Clean Air Act requires the EPA to consider cost when determining whether a system of emission reduction is adequately demonstrated. In other words, EPA regulations can't be too expensive and must be grounded in technical and market realities. Um, again, you think of some of the things that these green people come up with. Um, you, you had, uh, you had what the, the assistant, um, uh, head of Department of Energy. Oh, yeah, it's going to cost $40, $50 trillion. What? He has no plan, has no idea how much uh, it's going to lower energy costs. Um, again, you know, it's the United States of America, and I guess we'd like to see ourselves being less competitive than the rest of the world. I mean, do you understand that China watches this and they're laughing? They're laughing. It, 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 the, businesses consider cost, my friends. Okay, all costs. Your business. What does it cost to heat the place? What does it cost to run the uh, the machines to make the factory work? Yeah, I, it's funny. I do this all the time. You know, when I get asked to consult uh, on businesses, and again, I, you know, whether it be restaurant, whatever it may be, people ask from time to time, and, and I'll take a look at the the size of a space. I, it's happened many times. And I got a guy who wants to open up a restaurant. I said, well, you know, you got to count the amount of walking traffic that you get there. Have you considered, could be considered, look at the size of this place. You consider what it's going to cost to run the air conditioning. I mean, all of these things are a factor. Anyway, um, again, yeah, yeah, this, <laughs> I keep thinking of Walter Peck. How many people, I love the uh, 1980s movie Ghostbusters. Remember Walter Peck? Uh, you know, the guy from the EPA that shut down the laser containment grid there and let all the ghosts out. That's what we got here at this point in time. You've got an out of control environmental protection agency. Again, uh, another branch. I'm going to call it a branch. That's a wrong word. Um, it's, it's part of, uh, the, our executive branch. Of government has become like a, a a court, if you will, King's Court, where you've got various different um, you call them maybe lords on the uh, you know underlings of the king, and you know they they obviously have to do what the, the king says, but they wield an, an extraordinary amount of power, and you know acting as judge, jury, and executioner. You know, the issue is right now is, is that you have to you have to take this stuff to court almost immediately. Um, that, that's, you know, the, the, the last thing that, that we have right now to save us from some of these things. And, and hopefully this will go in front of the Supreme Court. Cases will be filed and it will get thrown out uh, again. You know, it, oh, great. 
I want you, it's again, this is, I do declare and I do decree. You know, it's a like Biden administration, a king sitting there, that all power plants must not release a carbon in the foreseeable future. How, how, how do you expect us to do that? Well, we've got these machines. But you do realize what this is going to do to Americans. But again, you know, the Biden administration, when it starts going up or whatever further administration, they'll start saying, well, we need to subsidize people and help people to heat their homes. We, for all intents and purposes, could be an energy independent nation. We pay too much for energy as it is now based upon our situation. Why would you make it worse? And again, the thesis that I've been putting forward, this is why I'm so sick and tired of seeing all the BS analysts on TV talking about the Fed. I mean, listen, yes, the guy yesterday, well, you know, we got to get inflation under control, which means the Fed is going to have to continue to raise rates. The Fed can't do shit about this. They can't. They can't do a damn thing about this. Well, what are you going to do? Well, I, I guess they can. I guess they can impov try to impoverish everybody, throw people into the streets to make costs go down. But, but do, you, do you honestly think that's wise? Give you another quick sub-reference. Just came into my mind, Environmental Protection Agency. The Simpsons movie. Remember when uh, it is Homer's, uh, Homer's dad, he started having visions. He was like, Epa, Epa. Remember the Environmental Protection Agency? Because what did Homer do? Homer, oh yes, his pet pig. He had his pet pig and he had all of the pig crap and he didn't have anywhere to put it and he dumped it into, I guess, the Springfield's uh, lake or whatever it may be and it caused all this environmental damage and the Environmental Protection Agency put a big dome over Springfield so nobody could get out. Ipa, Ipa. Watchdog on wallstreet.com.